Hi and welcome to another Type With Me. In this week's episode I want to talk about temporal object. Fitting the date object in JavaScript. Yes, you see it clear. The temporal object will clear and fix the date object. So what are the issues with the date object in JavaScript? Well, mutability is one of it. Parsing. Yeah, we have indeed moment.js and we have date fns and other kind of date utility classes that will fix it for you. But still, big issues to deal with in the browser, right? Same with time zones. So, improvements. All temporal objects are immutable. That's a very big, great thing to know. The date values can be represented in local calendar systems, but they should be convertible to and from the proleptic Gregorian calendar. One of the things that's really great is that indeed if you use the date um, representative that um, yeah, it's in your local uh, calendar system, but maybe you want to use another calendar system, right? So, great thing to do is to make that convertible. All time of day values are based on a standard 24 hour clock. It's also something that's great, I think. And um, leap seconds are not represented. One of the things that I really like to do is to go to the uh, GitHub page of TC39. And there you see all the uh, ECMAScript uh, proposals. One of them is in stage 3, and that's the proposal for temporal. It's something that I really uh, am um, positive about. I really am excited about that as well. Why? Because it is something that really going to improve the date time nightmare that I got throughout the years when handling date times in the browser. It's really really a pain and I'm hoping that this time they get it right. Again the date object itself relates from 95 when they needed to copy the date from Java to JavaScript and they created something for that time, a gr really great and good implementation. But throughout the, the years it's really yeah had a lot of um, shortcomings, right? See here, provide standard objects and functions for working with dates and times. This proposal is in stage 3, which is great. Although this proposal API is not expected to change, implementers of this proposal must not chip unflagged temporal implementations. So, another thing that I really like to do is to go just to um, the documentation of it, right? And then you see here, eh, fixing JavaScript date, which is really great. They want to create a top level namespace like MAD. Uh, there where you can very easily do things with. One of the things that they are providing is for example temporal.now to get the current system exact time or the time zone ID to get the current system time zone get the current date and wall clock time in the system. So one of the things that I did was to provide something like this. I created a um, website and if I go to the developer tools you see here that I have a printout of the current time with temporal.now. Another thing that's great maybe to test out is the time zone ID which is great to see and to know. So you see here I have just a project where I import temporal from uh, polyfill that they have for it. Great to test new APIs from the browser out when they are not officially released or in the browser itself. So one of the things that I also want to see is this one, right? So what I can do now is do console.log 
of this piece of code and just save it and you see here that he is watching the files and has a file change detected so if you look here into the console tab you see here that we have europe slash brussels which is the time zone that we are in right so you can very easily parse uh, dates something that you could do right here is is this right so if i down do console.log then you can very easily get the results in the browser see here that we have temporal instant from and you have a date here you see that you can expect a string or a temporal dot instant so if you now go to the browser we get our uh, printouts in our console.log right so another thing that I already said was that it can handle time zones right and so one of the things that you could do is to temporal dot zoned date time dot from and then you have your date and then we are printing that out right if we then print that out into the browser, then you see here that we get our uh, local um, local daytime string, right? So great to handle um, time zones. This is just another way to handle uh, time zones. You have your uh, string representative of a date. And then you say, I want to have it in Asia, Tokyo, right? If you then go to the browser, you get your output here. So a great thing to just play around with this uh, new temporal API um, in your browser, right? Another great thing to just play around with is the plain date time. If you don't want to use it, eh, um, and that's also nice eh? you have here a eh? uh, temporal dot plain date time represents calendar date and wall clock time with precision in without any time zone that's the important one without any time zone you have the plain date the plain time the plain year month and the plain play month day all carry less information and should be used when complete information is not required so if you just have a date and you don't really yeah want to play around with uh, time zones but just want to have that date displayed like this well you can very easily do that with this object so if you go to the browser then you will see here that we have a console.log of that date time that has not any information of the time zone uh, another great thing i'm not gonna yeah use it it's something great to just explore a little bit with in um in your free time if you have the, uh, uh, time for that to play around with is the temporal dots uh, duration and then you can very easily say hey i want to have 130 hours and 20 minutes what is the total amount of seconds and you can then just uh, give the unit in it if you want to have it in milliseconds I probably think you can just provide milliseconds or you can provide days maybe or something like that and then you convert it into days so you find a little bit more information with the um, the ways how to use that Also great thing to do calculations uh, with date times. So I hope you enjoyed it, this video. I hope you learned something from it. I hope that uh, the temporal API will arrive into the browser uh, anytime soon. Uh, hopefully this year and otherwise maybe next year. Um, so 
thank you for watching and uh, see you next time